Can you tell us your name? My name is Bill Buzago. And what's your nationality? I'm born in Canada and I'm Israeli from 2002. Okay. Um, how do you feel that the state has tortured you? The system of Israel has tortured you? Well, they haven't taken my my proofs or my accounts into consideration every time they question me. You know, they close the cases every time, but they give the, the power to the, to the ex-wife, or back then before she was ex-wife. Uh, everything she says is gold for them. They put restriction orders on me uh, a few times, they put me in jail until proven innocent, and I was proven innocent every time. She made false accusations on me, she was even arrested as a suspect for her, and still not, nothing happened to her. I still don't get to see my kids. I had to go see my kids in a closed room with the one mirror and a camera with two people that I couldn't even speak to my kids properly. I had to play with them for an hour a week, three hours distance from my hometown because she moved. So the crime is that you're a father, you're a divorced father. That is your crime, That's basically. my crime, to be a father. That's to be a, fa a, a, a father. To be a crime, so to speak. So... Unfairly and... and do you have a criminal record because none, you... None whatsoever. Even though you've been to prison? Prison um, for three days, another time twice two days and uh, arrested a few times in questions and then released every time. Yeah. When you go to court, what chances do you have as a man? I'm just, I think they just make money every time I appear. I have no chances. Every time I bring them proofs, everything, they don't consider them. They tell me to be quiet. They listen to me out of maybe politeness. There's nothing I can do to help myself. What kind of a life would you have or have had if these things hadn't happened to you and you'd spent all these years fighting, what what would your life have been like? I wouldn't be in debt so much okay. from all these uh, payments. I wouldn't be in debt from wasting my time trying to deal with such a corrupt, corrupt uh, civil court and rabbinical court and uh, everybody's corrupt. I mean, they just don't care. Nobody cares except you and certain people, which I hope to help myself with my case. It's absurd what's going on. You can make a movie out of it. I would be, I would, I would, I'd be wealthy. I, I would have had a business. I would have had my plan going, like a family. But you know, who can you tell? Because um, who can you tell about the problems? Who can you go to? God. That's Nobody it. Nobody can help. Nobody helps. I, I noticed that it's just absurd. Nobody has time, and nobody helps. I just, I'm, I'm just hoping that she will calm down and let me have my kids on a balanced level. Some, some, some. Every time I, she gives them to me, she cries kidnapping or beatings or molestation or whatever she cries, false accusation, every time. And with my kids, they know it's not true, but they're traumatized sitting there. They're getting hit by her. They're getting, it's just a domino effect. How would it be? All the kids hit each other. After all. If you were in Canada going through a divorce as a father, would it be any better? I assume I have never, I don't know. Right. In here so well, I don't know, but it's just pathetic the system here. Pathetic. pathetic. So it's breaking you. I mean, it, break it broke me already many times. I'm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. I've, I'm, I'm, I've almost given up so many times, and maybe subconsciously I do give up a little bit. But I and I hope that it's going to work out with time. Because sometimes she calls me and goes, "Okay, I can't handle them. Take them, or I need money." Did you ever go to the district court, the Supreme Court? Have you tried everywhere? Or I mean, uh, yeah, he, he yeah. He told me I can't. I have a free lawyer who tells me I can't. I right. can't do this. I can't. He told me that even if she's a crackhead prostitute beating the kids, she's still gonna get get them. She's. He told me that the social workers and the women are stronger than the than God in this country. So if you were to ask for help from the UN, um, what help would you? What What do you want them to do to help you? I believe they can help because they don't. They don't help much in this country. They try, they put all these accusations on Israel. So why would they help with such a small thing when they're trying to help with the Arab uh, political uh, political system and they can't help with that? Why would they help me with my own family? I don't know if they can help, but if they could, welcome. They welcome don't, they don't know. They don't know about the torture of people inside Israel. They don't know about the Israelis. So if they, if they can help, welcome. Baruch Haba. Because it, it'll help. Thank you.